which rehab works better, helping a patient stretch and relax, or repeatedly trying to sit and stand. Let's compare MRP with traditional neuro approaches and see what actually helps the brain relearn movement. In neuro rehab, we have many frameworks like Bow Bath, Brunstrom, Rude, PNF, and now MRP. Each approach has its own focus, but MRP brings a modern, functional, evidence-based perspective. So let's see how is it different. Bow Bath, or NDT, focuses on normalizing tone and movement patterns, using therapist handling to guide posture and transitions, avoiding abnormal synergies and spasticity. This are some core principles of NDT therapy, and it's about preparing the body before function happens. It is very useful, but sometimes too much therapist input can delay active motor learning. Brunstrom's approach encourages using reflexes and synergies as stepping stones. It starts with involuntary movement, then moves to voluntary control, and it progresses through stages of recovery. It is very useful in acute patients, but the challenge is it may reinforce abnormal patterns if not progressed correctly. Rude's approach uses sensory stimulation, ice tapping, brushing, to influence muscle tone, and also the inhibitory techniques to control muscle tone. And PNF, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, focuses on patterns of movement like D1 and D2 diagonals used to build coordination and strength. These can be useful tools, but not always functional or task specific. Motor Relearning Program, or MRP, focuses on functional tasks from day one. Here's how it stands out. In traditional methods, it is therapist directed, whereas here it is actively done by the patient. Others use passive techniques while MRP encourages active problem solving. Other therapies avoid abnormal movement, but in MRP, we allow trial and error for motor learning in a task specific way. Other approaches are equally important. But MRP says, don't wait to normalize the tone. Start practicing the goal movement right away, which makes it different from others. Let's take a simple clinical example to understand MRP concept. Therapist supports posture, positions feet, aligns trunk, controls the motion manually. In MRP, therapist observes how the patient stands, identifies what's missing, trains the weak parts, and lets the patient try again with feedback. MRP promotes independence and motor learning from the start. So the final message from here is, both are and can be useful in patient to patient, but MRP is backed by motor learning and neuroplasticity research. Next up, we will discuss in detail about overview of the four stages of MRP. If you are enjoying the MRP series, hit like, subscribe, and we will see you in our next video.